Hey there, it's Adam again and with another tutorial on MixEffect. This time we're going to talk about companion and stream deck support in MixEffect. Let's get started. As you can see, I'm changing the super source uh, in MixEffect and you're seeing it in real time. And you can see in the bottom left hand corner, there's a stream deck. And I'm going to push these buttons and you're going to see what happens. I'm going to go back to myself here. I'm going to go back to the three grid. I'm going to go to the iPhone, going to go to our title slide, and finally back to the Stream Deck video here. Now it looks like I'm a little off center, so let's straighten that out. And let's go back up to the three grid. So, how are we doing this? How can you get Companion and your Stream Deck to work with Mix Effect? It's really quite simple. Let's take a look at the iPhone. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to go into the automation section within settings and you need to turn on OSC down here at the bottom. Then you need to go and configure your switchers. So I have a list of switchers here. We're going to take a look at the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO and we're going to scroll down and we see enable OSC server and a port number. So we're going to tap edit and we're going to say for the port number by default I think it's 49990 but in this case I'm going to set it to 24061. You can set it to whatever number you want as long as you're not using that port for something else. So we can hit save and we're going to also make sure that the enable OSC server toggle is on. And that's it. That's all you have to do from the side of mix effect. Um, now, let's go switch over to Companion and take a look at what we need to do. The first thing we need to do is we need to download Companion if you haven't already done that already. So let's go switch back to my desktop. Go back here, I'm gonna create a new space and I'm gonna go bring in this window. So if you go to bitfocus.io, you'll see this webpage and then all you have to do is click read more and then click download. Now, if you don't already have an account with bitfocus.io, you need to create one. But once you do, you'll get and log in, you'll get this page here. So we're going to download the Mac version. Just click on the Mac version. What you need to do when you download Companion for the first time, if you're running a newer version of macOS, you'll need to hold down the control key, bring up the menu and choose open. That's because uh, BitFocus's IO Companion app is not signed. So Gatekeeper on macOS will kind of prevent you from opening it unless you use the control open trick. Once you have Companion open, uh, and running, you'll want to click on the Launch GUI button. It's going to bring this uh, page here. And we see already, I've already set this up in Companion, but you see a layout of basically exactly what I had in this view here. We'll go back to this view. So you see, uh, we're going to switch this also. So you see the layout that I have defined in the uh, BitFocus, um, in the Companion kind of admin is the same as you see the view that you see there. First, you need to click on the Instances tab up here. And we need to create a reference to the Mix Effect app. So you want to go down to the search field down here and you want to type in generic, I can spell OSC, and you'll click Add. Over here, you want to give a name to your Mix Effect. So we'll just say Mix Effect, and I'll call it the iPhone version. And then we want to give it a target IP. So you need to get the IP address of your device. So in this case, it's 10.0.1.10. And then we need to give it a port number. So we had the port number that we had earlier, which is 24061. And all we do is click the Add button. Now you'll see the instance kind of created down here. OK, so now we can configure our buttons. So if we go back to our buttons. We can click on a button here, uh, or we can click on a blank button here and say new button, a normal kind of push up and down button. And what you do here is click on this icon here and you're going to type in mix effect. We want to use the mix effect iPhone send string. Okay. And over here, you have two things that's very important. You have the OSC path and then the parameters you want to send it. So on the Mix Effect website, we have documentation for OSC, which lists out all the commands that Mix Effect supports and all the instructions for how to configure Mix Effect 
with OSC is, is listed on this page as well. So we have a list of all the commands that MixFX supports, and all you have to do is follow uh, what message is the OSC path, and then the arguments, it kind of explains what you need to do. We want to run a preset. So in the path, we're going to type slash mix effect slash SSRC for supersource slash preset. And then for the value, we're going to type in the exact name of the supersource preset layout, one dot camera. Okay, and that's it. And if you want to test it, I'm going to click this button, and you should see the camera uh, supersource change back to my camera. So if we go back to the computer here, uh, we can change this value to something else. So let's say I have 2.3 grid. If I hit this and I push this, we'll see it switches to that layout here. And I can go uh, change my space on my desktop to show the iPhone. Uh, and then back to the computer, and I'll just swipe over there. So you can see how easy it is to create uh, the integration between mix effect and companion. Now we want to name the button. So I'm going to give this button, this is the three grid one. So I'll just type in three grid. Okay, and there it is. Now you see that the button text has turned to the word three grid. And that's kind of interesting. Uh, but what would be better is if we had actually an image representation of that, as you can see in the button up top right here. So how do we do that? Let's go back to mix effect. And here we are. So over here, if you go tap on the View All Presets button in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see all your, your presets. And I filtered my presets based on a tag that I've added called Stream Deck. If I wanted to see all my presets, I could just uh, close the search field and I can see everything. But in this case, we're going to filter again. So type in Stream Deck. Now, what you can do is you can long press on uh, a preset and choose the Save Preset Icon button. And then you get a choice of kind of the button sizes that you want to save. In this case, we're going to save the companion 72 by 58 size image. Okay. And what that'll do is it'll save the image to your photos library. From there, you can airdrop it to your computer or email it to yourself or whatever. Uh, and all you have to do then is go back to your desktop. So we're going to go back to the computer here. And you're going to click Browse over here. And you're going to find the icon, this one right here, and say choose. And there you go. You have the image. Now, the text is a little big, so we're going to change that. We're going to make the, the text like nice and small. And then we're going to align it to the bottom, this button right there. Then we're going to make the text actually even smaller so that it fits on, on one line. And that's all you have to do to add images to your Stream Deck buttons. I've made it very easy for you to grab the preset icon so you can stick it into Companion. And now, when we go back to our Stream Deck, I'm going to tap this. So now you see it back here. I'm going to switch back to the iPhone. And you can see I can tap this button here. I'll go to this one, go to that, I tap this one, do that, and then I'll tap on the one we just created, which is this one. And you can see it switches back to the three grid. Actually, I'll go to there. So I tap this one, that's the button we just created, and it does the exact same thing as this button right here. Now, there's a lot more actions that MixFX supports through OSC to control uh, MixFX through your Stream Deck. So I encourage you to take a look at the doc documentation at mixeffect.app slash docs slash OSC, and you can read about all the different commands uh, that you can add to your Stream Deck to control mix effect. You can do things such as turn on video follows audio. You can highlight um, boxes. So for instance, if I'm in the super source section, I can highlight boxes. So making like, my box bigger just there. Just say I wanted to highlight uh, the third box, which is the Stream Deck video. Or I can highlight the uh, iPhone display right there. You can do that all from a Stream Deck button. And it's very simple to do. You just need to get the OSC path, enter it into a new button, and then set the value. So I encourage you to, if you have a Stream Deck, definitely set up the integration between Mix Effect and Companion and take your productions to the next level. Again, I'm Adam Tao. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and we'll see you next time.